Hi Becky. Hello Sylvan. How are you? Hi. I'm so happy you're part of the uh, 2010 International Whiskey Competition that you're kind of our only woman and it's great you're representing women as, uh, as on the judging team. How do you feel about that? Well, I'm really glad to be part of such an enthusiastic group of people with so much passion. The thing that attracts me about whiskey is the passion that the people in the industry and around the industry and the consumers themselves have. And how do you see like the relationship uh, between women and whiskey? I think women have a great ability to describe what they taste and nose, and I think it's become a lot more accessible that it's not just stereotyped as a man's drink or maybe something that an expert or an older person needs to drink, but it's really available to a broader range of people. And can you tell us a little bit uh, where you're coming from and how did you end up in, in, the, in the whiskey? Uh, Business. When I met my husband Hans, I knew one whiskey, Dallas Garden. I really, <laughs> really loved this whiskey. It was accessible for me because I liked something with an outspoken uh, profile yes. and not just something that smelled to me like alcohol. So well, when I met Hans, I said, well, I uh, hear you're a writer and uh, that you're writing about whiskey. He said, yes, do you like whiskey? I said, well, I like one whiskey. He said, well, if you like that whiskey, let me show you some others. So from there, we kind of broadened my uh, palette, you could say, from just Talisker, which I enjoyed, to maybe a Spring Bay, to Carb, and some lovely whiskeys out there that I wouldn't have ever considered because I was afraid they would just taste like And how did, um, I mean, you're, you guys are the whiskey couple, so I mean, you're, you're traveling around the world, and I mean, Scotland, Kentucky, and did, did you know a little bit about bourbon before knowing Hans? I mean, you're, you're from the U.S., correct? I know, and you would think that I would have known my bourbons, but I actually had a big argument with Hans about Four Roses bourbon. I said, people don't drink that, that's a grain whiskey. And he said, no, it's a beautiful bourbon. And so it wasn't until we were at the distillery that we found out that they had made a blended whiskey for the American market, and they had sent all their lovely bourbons to Japan. So I finally got to taste a true Four Roses bourbon, and I was really impressed. Oh, that's great! And are you gonna are you gonna do something special to promote whiskey with uh, to women? You know, I would really like to send the message out there: don't be afraid. Just try a bourbon, try a, a Japanese, try an Irish whiskey, try a single malt, because there's thousands of different flavor profiles. Maybe you like beer, maybe you like wine, maybe you like cognac, but it doesn't matter. There's a whiskey for everyone. That's awesome. Well, thank you so much for uh, being part of the, the competition. It was a pleasure having you on board. Thank you. For and we hope you uh, will come back next year. Well, I hope that this uh, only gains momentum in the whiskey world. It will. Thank you.